All right, welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer channel. Today for the Tecmo 101 Board Plus blog, I'm going to be showing you guys how to defend Pro T, T Power Dive. It's a second run, it's used very often. So I got the computer set up with the play. This is going to be done in coach mode. I'm going to be I'm going to be Minnesota at first to show you some techniques. And let me get into it. This is the Saints. Let me get that under control and let's go. Just got up, took me a moment, but now what I wanted to do. We're just going to use coach mode so we can call the sweep every time, then we'll start working on some defensive techniques for it. First technique. First one's going to be any LB3 will work with. We'll just use Studwell, I'll tap this guy, I'll tap this guy. Now, against a human player, once they see that once or twice, they're going to start running up or down, and then you're going to have to move up and down to contain them. Let's take another look at it. It's LB3, it works with any LB3, run in, out tap. Even sometimes you take out the blocker like that sometimes. All right. Here I'm just going to let the computer run for a first down so we can continue with the examples. Okay, perfect. All right, so next time, I've been choosing pass plays too on this. We're going to go with the, the nose tackle. We're not going to dive in. We're just going to do the same similar technique. This is best when they... Oh, wrong play. Is it, when you use the nose tackle one, it's best to use that when the only play is that play. Oh, I got a cheap interception. Let's let me punt the ball. We'll get right back to it. Alright, let's look at the nose tackle one again. So we have that crazy sequence. I hit the blocker there. I was so quick. I was too quick. All right. But like I said, that technique works kind of better when they don't have anything else in pro form as a run. So that way you know you're containing it. And remember, just like in the first example, what once somebody sees you do that a couple times, they're going to run up and down, and you're going to need run, to run up and down. Now I'm going to go to another. Jeez, oh, wrong play again. I just got up. Give me just a second. Oh, they got it too. Alright, let's try this again. Right, left it A. Alright, so now we're going to use the bottom cornerback, DB2. We're going to hit that guy and release him. Almost picked the wrong plays again. Let's do it again. So it's a fat it's usually a faster defensive back. You release this guy. Now sometimes what you do I ah, wrong play again. Oh they do need a first down. Oh touchdown. As soon as we get do the kickoff, we'll get back into this in the punt. But with that defensive back two technique, what you really need for that one is to, um, I'll show you a couple, another technique on it, just a moment. Okay, back to it. Get the computer the ball. We'll take a look at some more of these. All right. 
Now, on the same principle as that one, now we're going to use LB2. Now, every time you do a technique and you bump into a guy, it's risky because you can fly off, but right now it's working. So I'm taking the risk. Now I'm going to use LB1. Come straight down, keeping in mind there's a guy following me. He's not as fast, so it wasn't as effective. Here I'm going to let the computer get a first down so we can continue. And this time I'm actually paying attention and making sure it's just a run play. That should work. Alright. Let's uh, do LB1 again. Let's do LB4. Pick the wrong play. Look at a first down here. We need a first down. That works too. I can just pop right back. Get right back to this. Back to the LB4. I got the got in there too quickly. The LB4 I don't really recommend unless he's quicker, which is what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna show you the last thing against this play, and then we'll be good to go. And this time I'm gonna have to switch my team over to Denver. Or the Rams, or the Bills, or the 49ers, but Remember, Denver and the Rams especially for this, for what I'm about to show you. examples of this and then you're probably good to go. And then just practice all the techniques I showed you, depending on the team which which guy you'll use. And especially if you could luck out and get Denver or the Rams, the Buffalo Bills, Houston, San Francisco, then you can use the technique I'm about to show you here. dead. There's nothing anybody they can do about it if it works. You just come in and get to that point and press B. Just a second, I'll do it again. Alright. Let's do this right. Okay. Let's do that again. This is the LB4 Lurch, which is legal. I didn't press B at the right time there. Let's do it again. Again. Just missed there. This is something I really suggest strongly that you practice a few times to get to get your technique down on it. Because I'm getting kind of rusty myself on it. Let's go for it again. See if I can get a couple of good ones. That's not exactly what I'm going for there. If someone could avoid that, I'm going for that one I got the first time. And again, I got the controllers confused. Alright. All right. This is the Saints. This is the Broncos. Alright, let's do this. You're just running. Sh uh, suck at this now. I had it working so beautifully. You're just running in up on an angle. 
sometimes even if you fail, you're you're bringing a lot of pressure, like it, like I did there, and I picked the wrong play again. <laughs> Through in coverage when they could have used the first down. Let's take one more look at it, see if I can get it to work again. I'd like to have another good example on here. And it just doesn't want to dive. You want to be careful. See it? It's not really. I've only gotten it to work right once where it looked beautiful. Uh, most of the times I've just been running in, but still, that can. If you're still back there, you're breaking up the play. But you'll just have to use that one for the example because I'm not really pulling it off too good. Give this one more try. Maybe this will help out a little. No, nope, wasn't able. But I did have that one example where you saw it happen, right? But even then, if you have a really good guy, you're putting a lot of pressure. Anyways, that's a lot of the ways to put pressure onto this play. You can use your... I, I recommend the, the nose tackle, the LB3... If you're a little more risky and you got powerful players, use that LB2 technique or that defensive back 2 technique. Finally, if you've got a really good LB4, try going in at that and diving at them and see if you can get the LB4 lunch to work. It's hit or miss, but you do get it a number of times. And if, especially with teams with bad blocking like Denver, all these techniques are just going to put more and more pressure on that play. Anyway, guys, thanks for, thanks for uh, watching another video on Techmo Trading, and uh, thanks to Tom for letting us use the retro sports gaming equipment. We'll be back soon with more examples of offense and defense in Techmo Super Bowl to get you guys ready for future tournaments.